the Turks can make more than shish kebab. Actually, they can make sheep kebab. And this sheep kebab might not be very tasty because the ships literally burn to crisp. To the intro. Welcome to Firepower. This stupid and racist title from the telegraph, telegraph, it should be telegraph, not telegraph, illustrates the stereotypical look from the West on the others. And the idea here is that the Turks can only produce kebab, even though the article is about the advanced drone that's helping Ukraine to win the war against Russia. So yes, the Turks can make more than kebab. They can make all sorts of weapons, including our super missile Atmaja. Even though this missile is called naval anti-ship missile, it's more than that. Atmaja can be fired from a lot of platforms, such as everything in the sea, including warships, sea drones, and submarines. Also, it can be fired from anything in the air, such as fighter jets, drones, and anti-marine ships. It can be fired from land platforms, such as mobile platforms and stationary platforms. If that's not enough, it can target all sorts of equipment and facilities, such as enemy ships, seaports, and even anti-air missile batteries deep inland. Before we dive deep into the details of the Atmaja, let's first learn the name Atmaja and what it means. I know some of you might be wondering, why are you saying Atmaja and not Atmaka? Well, that's how it's pronounced in Turkish. And if you are used to hear it Atmaka, then blame it on the AI automated voice bots that are used by the YouTube channels that present these weapons to you. So the correct name is Atmaja with a J. And it means the name of a bird of prey, which is the accipiter, which is similar to the falcon. However, since we are talking about Turkey, then the bird in question is this guy, which is the Levant Sparrowhawk. This little bird fascinated me when I was a kid that I would spend hours waiting for it. And when it appears, I will be just watching until it disappears from the sky. Now the specification of the Atmaja. Atmaja is the product of a famous Turkish company, Rocketsan which produces many impressive missiles, including the Jirit that we have talked about in the previous video. As we said earlier, the Atmaja is not a mere naval anti-ship missile. Rather, it's a super missile because it can be fired from almost anything to target almost anything. So it's like Elon Musk's X, the platform I mean, that was known as Twitter design and modernization. The Atmaja missile is designed to be adaptable for multiple platforms. It boasts an impressive range of over 220 kilometers, enabling precise targeting beyond line of sight. Its operational effectiveness is not hindered by adverse weather conditions, ensuring reliability and all solutions. Here from the website, we can see that Developed to meet the operational needs of surface warfare, Atmaja is a high-precision anti-ship missile that can be integrated into assault boats, frigates, and corvettes. System specifications. Autonomous, long-range, low-radar cross-section, high-precision, operable in all weather conditions, resistant to countermeasures, target update, re-attack and mission abort capability via data link, 3D mission planning, time on target, TOT, designated time on target, DTOT, simultaneous time on target, STOT, ripple, salvo fire. 
engagement against land and surface targets from surface and underwater platforms such as submarines and undersea drones re-attack mode technical specifications length 4.3 to 5.2 meters depending on the mission weight 750 kilograms range to more than 220 kilo guidance inertial navigation system plus gps global positioning system plus barometric altimeter plus radar altimeter warhead is a high explosive fragmentation effective penetration warhead and it weighs 220 kilograms seeker active rf here we can see a three model of the atmaja and it looks stunning really beautiful and if this atmaja is not enough for the mission then there's the big brother of the atmaja which is called kara atmaja as you can see from the rocket sand kara atmaja is under the precision guidance guided missiles and not the land systems like other rockets so it's it's the widest and most impressive subcategory in the website of rocket sun so the kara atmaja is basically an atmaja but on a steroid it's the same specifications as you can see here karat maja weapon system is a jamming resistance long range cruise missile system launched on tactical wheeled vehicles and used against strategical uh, land targets so it's basically the same at maja but with more length six meters here weighs more it's 890 kilograms range also more 280 kilometers and it also has another guidance system which is terrain reference navigation the warhead is heavier at 250 kilograms why the atmaja was produced in the first place well turkey is operating the American Harpoon, which is an old system, and it owns a limited number of these Harpoons. And we all know that Turkey is not on good terms with the West when it comes to supplying weapons with the embargo that's announced and hidden embargoes. So to avoid this kind of uh, situation, Turkey opted to manufacture its own anti-ship missiles and first was the target 200 kilometers but they were surprised that it's 220 kilometers and probably more and i think it's more also why not they can export it so they can export it to indonesia bangladesh algeria and anybody who is interested in obtaining the system development timeline 2009 the development of the atmaja missile began when turkey's undersecretary for defense industries ssm entered into a contract with rocket sand to create a surface to surface cruise missile tailored to the needs of the turkish naval forces september 2012 rocket sand the prime contractor initiated design studies following the conclusion of a previous research and development contract in 2017, the first land-based firing of the Atmaja took place, marking a crucial milestone in its development. October 29, 2018, the serial production contract for Atmaja was signed between Roxanne and the Presidency of Defense Industry, solidifying its path to deployment. Conclusion The Atmaja missile stands as a testament to Turkey's commitment to enhancing its naval defense capabilities through modernization, versatility, precision, and strategic autonomy. Its successful development 
and the growing international interest underscores its significance in the global defense arena as it continues to replace outdated systems and find new operators worldwide the Atmaja remains a crucial component of Turkish defense industry and an emblem of its growing influence of defense industry. See you in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.